Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Endodontics is the treatment of teeth with pulpal problems, periapical problems, or both. To efficiently treat these teeth, we must have a thorough knowledge of pulp biology, bacteriology, and bone healing. A portion of endodontic treatment includes the debridement mechanically of root canals and mechanically their filling. The purpose of this tape is to learn how to do some of these mechanical techniques, which really comprise about one-third of endodontics. As you enter your laboratory for the first time, you'll be given a handout by the instructors. This handout for the next few weeks will be your Bible. It'll include a step-by-step -step procedure by which you can best learn how to mechanically prepare teeth. You'll also receive an endodontic packet. Now this packet will be used near the end of the Technics course in a clinical examination. Inside of that packet, you'll have a card which will be used to record your progress through the Technics course. You'll have some IBM cards, and you'll be taught how to turn these in with the accomplishments of the day. You'll also have a X-ray mount, which you'll use. You'll also have an envelope containing some nuts and bolts. At the dispensing desk, we'll have you pick up a Typodont mount. You'll also be issued a small blue Typodont, and you also will receive, or may have already received, a small plastic jar containing teeth. The purpose of this tape will be to demonstrate for you how to prepare your Typodont for the endodontics techniques course. The first thing we want to do is take the teeth that you've been supplied with, take the maxillary teeth, the molar, your three anteriors, and your bicuspid, and put these on some x-rays. Then go to the x-ray room, get the x-ray cone down on each one separately, very close to the teeth, and take an exposure of about two or three tenths of a second. One, and then the other. Develop these x-rays in the rooms on the third floor according to the instructions that you'll be given. The purpose of these x-rays is to determine whether or not you have patent canals that you can instrument later on during the course. Show these x-rays to your instructor, and if he approves them at this point in time, they can be either destroyed uh, or collected by your instructor. The remaining teeth, the mandibular teeth, you then will take an instrument in your hands according to the instructions in your handout. Now let's take your typodont and remove the maxillary arch and put this in your drawer, place this aside. We'll take the typodont mount, place this on your typodont in place of the maxillary arch. We'll take our blue articulator given to you and mark those teeth that you're going to ultimately remove and replace with natural teeth. Place it in position on the typodont along with the typodont in its normal position. Mark through the holes on the typodont mount. Now we've over exaggerated these holes on this particular tape. We'll have you drill holes through here, and we'll have you remove the teeth that are going to be replaced with uh, natural teeth. 
the best instrument to use to remove the teeth will be a Joe Dandy desk. And if you can use this in a straight hand piece, such, you'll be able to cut out those sections very easily. If you have any rough areas remaining, you can use your buffalo dental knife and clean these up very nicely. If you'll notice at this point, we have the typodont bracket already attached. Here's the nut and bolt going through each side of the bracket, attaching it to the typodont. Now the next thing we'd like to do is to prepare the teeth for mounting in the typodont. What we need is some red wax. We'll take some red wax and place it on the apex of each tooth to be mounted. The purpose of this is so that we can see the apex of the tooth much better on the radiographs we're going to take later after the teeth are mounted. We'll then place the teeth in the proper position on the typodont, and again with red wax, or perhaps even orange sticky wax, we can put these in place as such. Here we are again. I'm only going to mount a couple of these right now, but we want you to mount all the teeth at the same time. All right, here's two of them mounted in place so that we can pour up the articulator. We want you to take a mixture of walnut shells, about 48 cc's, quick setting stone, 48 cc's, and water, about 25 cc's, to make this mixture. Walnut shells, quick setting stone, and water in those amounts. Mix them up, pour them into the, type, the top of the articulator, and allow it to set. Now here's an articulator that's already been poured up and has set. I'd like to point out one thing. Be careful that you don't mound up the mixture too much over the top of the typodont. For this, if you do this, the mixture may be too dense and you may not get good clear x-rays of the root apices, which will be important to you when you're trying to instrument those teeth. Now let's take and turn the articulator over. We're going to take a radiograph, first of all, of the anterior teeth. And the posterior teeth will be done very similarly. Take the radiograph, place it in the palatal area. You'll find it's a little bit more shallow than the patient's mouth. Stick it in with a piece of red wax. We can turn it back over. When we're in the x-ray room, we'll take and send our central ray down through the top edge of the articulator to get a good x-ray. And again, probably about three-tenths of a second will be sufficient. Here's an example of a radiograph taken of an articulator. Notice the bony architecture produced by the walnut shells. And near the apex, you can see the darkened area, which may be similar to a natural periapical lesion produced by the wax. This is what you'll see when you're going through the techniques course instrumenting your teeth. Now let's take your completed articulator, mount it back on the typodont, mount it on your chair mount in the normal fashion, and you're all ready to go. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. 
For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.